The year is 1792. The United States is a brand new country and it's fighting hard to make sure that other people take them seriously. They start with the important things first, military, a cool flag, but there's one thing they were missing that every other sovereign nation had money. This was so important that even James Madison is quoted as saying, the power to coin money and regulate its value is a power of the utmost importance. It is essential to the sovereignty of the union. That was in 1788. It wasn't until 1792 where the Coin Act of 1792 was passed into law and the U.S. Mint was created. And from that moment forward, the United States began minting millions and millions of coins on massive electronic presses. The same massive electronic presses that are used to make the State Quarter Series and the Sacagawea Way a dollar and wait. This was the late 1700s. They wouldn't even have a working light bulb for another hundred years. So how was the U.S. Mint producing hundreds of thousands of coins without the use of modern technology like we have today? Well, that's exactly what this video aims to cover. Using the Mini Mint at the ANA Museum in Colorado Springs, Colorado, I'm going to explain exactly how the U.S. actually made coins in those early days. I'll show you step by step using techniques and machines that they actually would have used to create some of the most iconic early American coins. As as always, big thanks to the ANA for letting us come out and film this stuff. Definitely go check out their YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed. The coin we're making is this. It's a small pewter coin that commemorates the new Silk Road exhibit at the ANA Museum, which I'll cover in another video coming up. The coin has three major aspects that will be created during this process. First of all, obviously, it's round. Then it has its obverse and reverse design and a slightly raised and lettered edge. But before it has any of these aspects, the coin will start as all coins start with an ingot. So th this machine right here, what is this called? This is called the rolling mill. We're gonna take our, our little pewter ingot here, it's an eighth of an inch. We need to flatten this down so that we can, we can yeah. continue through the process. We're gonna feed it through this little machine here. Right now we're at 0.625. I just put it there and crank it? Crank it. All right. Comes out the other side, a little bit thinner. Then we gotta make it smaller. We'll go to 0.375, run it back through. All right, so we're a little thinner, we're a little longer. And one more time, a little bit smaller, we'll go to 0 0.25. All right, okay, cool. We're gonna move on to the next machine. Next, we take care of the roundness. Obviously, this is a square-ish ingot. So the next machine stamps the planchets out of the ingot. All right, so next, we're moving on to the cookie cutter machine. This is what's gonna cut our planchets so we can actually stamp the design onto the coin. So we go like that. Bring it out, pull it there you go. Okay, it takes a little bit of force. Sometimes it likes to get stuck. Yeah, that drops through the table. Yeah, okay. I was wondering what you were reaching down for yesterday. They just fall right down. There you go. Nice. So, this. We'll That's what we're left with. Down. We'll get this melted down and so that we can make another one of these. We don't, you don't want to waste anything. Nowadays, when you make a lettered edge on a coin, the design for the edge is actually placed on the collar. So when the coin is pressed by both dies, it fits the mold of the collar die and the edge lettering is shown. So this next machine was their response to not having a collar. All right, cool. So this next machine, the Castain mill. So what this is going to do is basically put the lettering across the outside of the coin uh, by pressing it in between these two gears. So we need to place the planchet right in between these two sections here. Make sure you got it lined up, all right? And that should just roll right through. And just like that, we've got the lettered edge and a little bit of a ridge on the top of it. This one is ready to be stamped. And once it's ready to be stamped, uh, it's time to stamp it. All right, so we're here at the final machine, the final step. This is where we actually uh, press the die onto the planchet and we get our obverse and reverse design. This is a massive machine I have been told is very dangerous. So I need to be a little bit careful with this, but essentially there's big weight up top and two, two dies we're gonna stamp this little, this little planchet on. So we just place it right there. Looks pretty centered. And then he told me to just chuck this to the left. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right. I don't feel like I did that nearly hard enough. You could give it another swing. That, that felt better. And then it comes all the way back around. There. 
Boom. Nice. Sweet. That's how you make a coin, guys, from, from start to finish. I guess in the early 1800s, that's how you make a coin. Basically. Very nice. And there you have it. There's the coin minting process from start to finish before they had steam and electricity for the coin press. They were producing millions of coins all by hand for the first like 30 years of the U.S. Mint. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more coin content. We're trying to get as many coin nerds in one spot as possible. So hit that button to join Numis Nation. And you can catch us live on eBay about every Tuesday around 3 p.m. EST showcasing cool coins and giving out good deals. All right, folks, I'll see you in the next one.